We are going to follow the path of the refrigerant and we are going to try to understand that unit. The compressor internally compresses the refrigerant and this is the discharge of the compressor. The refrigerant will be vapor, no? Mm -hmm. Vapor at a, around 220 to 30 PSI and a, a 110 degrees Fahrenheit. The pressure of, of, in the output of this depends on uh, the compressor and depends on the refrigerant. There are refrigerant that uh, when the refrigerant is compressed, will be compressed at higher pressure than other ones. But in general, it's around 220. That's okay? 220 PSI and 110 degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature of the refrigerant. The refrigerant will be vapor, no? Because what is the boiling point of the refrigerant? Negative 40. Minus 40, negative 40. At 110 will be ultra boiling, no? And will be gas. Okay, and the refrigerant, look at the refrigerant, the refrigerant, the refrigerant pass for this uh, uh, element. What is the name of this element? This is the accumulator. This one is this. Enter here and continue over there. You see, the pipes goes in the bottom. The bottom is free. The lighting, there you go. Correct. And the, and the, and the refrigerant continue. In the bottom, so those cool. elements have a, a hygroscopic system, substance. What is the meaning of that? Absorbs. Absorb moisture, humidity, humidity yeah. moisture. The enemy of the refrigerant is moisture. The enemy of the refrigerant is humidity. This is why in the bottom of this element, you have a moisture. And a, what is the function of this element? It's also absorb vibration. Absorb Dampens, vibration, yeah. absorb uh, uh, humidity. All right. And the refrigerant at high pressure and high temperature continue over there and continue over there, continue over there, continue over there. And here is another dryer, another filter, but uh, the, the diameter of the pipe is reduced dramatically between this point and this point. What happened with the refrigerant? Ah, the refrigerant in this moment continue with high pressure and high temperature, but right now is liquid. Okay? around 220 PSI and around 110 degrees Fahrenheit. But because the diameter is reduced dramatically, what is the pr pressure and the temperature of the refrigerant here? It's lower. It's lower, no? We say that around 40 degrees Fahrenheit and 70 PSI here. And, uh, and, and the capillary pipe continue, 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 and enter in the bottom of, the, of, this, of this radiator. What about the temperature of those pipes, because it's 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's cold. It's cold, it's cold yeah. practically frozen. And arrive over there in the bottom of this coil. But uh, the air, the ambient air, is passing through this, increasing the temperature of those elements. What happened with the refrigerant? It start, because it's liquid, it's liquid at the beginning, yes, but it start to evaporate, 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 and here, in the output of this is fully evaporated, fully evaporated, and return here, return here, blue color into the compressor, completely evaporated. Of course, pass through other, 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 what is accumulator? Absorb humidity and enter here. Where's the low pressure, oh, okay. low pressure valves on the other Look side? Look at this. I have in the high pressure side, one high pressure switch. In the low pressure side, I have another low pressure switch. I have two high pressure and low pressure switches. Oh, my air conditioning unit is running, it stops suddenly, and the alarm said high pressure. Okay, give me possibilities. Look, you have here the high pressure switch, and you have here another low pressure switch. Pay attention. Both of them are kill switches. You remember the kill switches in the engine? Mm -hmm. The high pressure and low pressure are kill switches. And they interrupt the current to stop what? The compressor. To so stop the compressor, yeah. The motor of the compressor. If the, if the compressor stops, the system stops. Ah, the current, the main current entering here in the compressor pass through those cables, normally closed, and if those, ca oh, if those switches open, what happened? that current is interrupted and the compressor is stop. Okay, high pressure switch and low pressure switch. In the high pressure side, in the low pressure side. Is clear the path of the refrigerant? 